Our calls now. It was scary. Very scary. This video was taken by a neighbor just before seven last night as the plane was spiraling down. It imp impacted a residential structure uh, towards the back of the house. And at this time, it is undetermined as to why. Crashing nose down through the roof of this house on North Cedar Street in Newburgh. With victims, potential victims inside, we started a rapid extrication. Newburgh Dundee police say there were three people on board that plane, all living in Hillsborough. 20 year old Barrett Bavacqua and 22 year old McKelly Cavalier were found dead in the aircraft. Cavallotti was an instructor for the Hillsborough Aero Academy and Bavacqua was a student pilot. And when we got here, life flight was landing. There was ambulances blocking off the street. The third person on that plane was 20 year old Emily Hurd sitting in the back. She was airlifted to OHSU with critical injuries. A Facebook post online from her mom says as of 7:30 this morning, surgery went well and her spinal cord is intact. The post also said she has both sternal rib and pelvic fractures. When it comes to those who were inside the home, firefighters say everyone ran out safely after the plane crashed. Today, the homeowners came back to the home and grabbed some essential items and loaded up their cars. Investigators from the FAA and the NTSB are now here looking for a cause. But according to FlightAware, a flight tracking website, the plane is a Piper Seminole owned by a Hillsborough Aero Academy. It took off around 6.20 Tuesday night before losing airspeed and crashing from 5,000 feet. Then we heard a kaboom and I just felt like it was a plane. KGW News caught up with a neighbor whose young child was playing in the front yard of the house. And I ran out to see if my boy was okay and they were crying. I said, did the plane hit the house? They go, yeah, it hit his buddy's house. Now the focus shifts to why. Was weather a factor? We're gonna be taking a look at the airplane itself. We're gonna be looking at airplane maintenance records. Was there a potential, uh, was there any kind of mechanical anomalies that would have precluded normal operations? We're told the investigation should take about a year and a half to two years to complete. And the NTSB would like to hear from you. If you took any video of this, if you witnessed the crash, you can contact them, send them anything that you have at witness at NTSB.gov. Ashley? China, thank you.